Hello and welcome to Realm of Thrones and 5.1. This is the new version of the mod. It just got updated, actually, very, very uh, recently, actually. This is probably the fastest that I've ever gotten a series out in any update of a mod, because I... I'm just, just, I'm just slow, you know, <laughs> I'm just slow. Anyway, if you would like to check out the load order and which mods I am using, there are going to be links in the description and obviously the order of, you know, how I have them laid out in the launcher. Otherwise, apart from that, I highly recommend download, downloading this because just look at the amount of cultures that we have available here. Look at this. We have so many, literally. Free Houses, Valyrian, Novoshi, Night's Watch, Skagosi, and we even have these all the way at the bottom here. We've got loads of these really, really cool and rare ones as well. Rare cultures that you're not usually going to see. So I'm very, very pleased to see that, i got to say. I don't know whether they were in previous versions, because I've, I've never seen them, though. I've never seen them, but it's very cool that they are here now. Anyway. Because this mod has dragons, I'm going to be playing as the Dothraki because I personally feel like it might be very cool if we can maybe fight the Targaryens. That might be a pretty fun idea in my opinion. Maybe we can make it work and obviously as we know the Dothraki, well aka horse archers, have become a lot worse as um, as the developers of Bannerlord have changed how horse archers work in the early game. So we're going to have a hard time. I feel like we're going to have a hard time in the early game. Anyway, you do have the opportunity, if you want to, to actually be a white walker, a white, or indeed a giant. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. But yes, you can actually play as one of these, apparently. I had no idea that you could, but you can. And uh, that's probably something that you want to do if you want to roleplay. Maybe uh, maybe that would be an idea for me in the, in the future. You know, maybe that would be pretty cool. But at the moment, we're going to do the Dothraki because, let's face it, I feel like that's going to be pretty fun for us. Okay, so let me see. I want to make him a little bit shorter, a little bit liver, maybe a bit more muscular, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be pretty fine with that. Let's just give him a bit of a beard here. Uh, let's go for a long one. Let's go for a long one. Let's go for something like this. There we are. That sounds pretty good. Let's go for that. Okay, so let's have a look. What do we want to go for? That's the thing. Do we want to be a, a classic horse archer, in which case we're going to be taking bow and riding? Or do we want to take something a little bit less obvious? And I'm talking about maybe something like scouting and riding or medicine and charm. Because taking medicine and charm is actually a pretty... I don't know. I feel like that might be that might be an idea actually. It might be an idea because then we don't have to worry about a companion actually taking medicine. I don't have to spec a focus point into medicine either, which might make sense because that means that I'm then going to have, you know, an e much easier time getting to 25 medicine. So I think that's what we're going to do. Why not? What else do we have available here? Athletics and uh, athletics and bow. Hmm. Uh, oh, riding and medicine once again? Do I literally want to be a medicine person in this one? Do we? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We'll, we'll do something along those lines, but we're not going to be focusing on that, obviously. Um, I would like to also do smithing. So we're going to be a medic smith, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Oh, smithing and engineering might be fun. All right, let's do smithing and engineering. I am I, I don't even know what this character is right now. I, uh, I was very much anticipating doing something very different, but I'm deciding on doing something like this instead. Yes, I don't know why. Anyway, we'll go for riding and pole arms here, and then we want to go for something else. What do we want? Pole arms. I don't, I don't want to waste anything, you see. I don't want to waste any of these focus points. I want every single focus point to be useful in some way or another. I'm thinking maybe trade and smithing right now because I don't really want polearm and crossbow. I think polearm and crossbow is absolutely useless. We could potentially go for athletics and roguery. Athletics obviously is a pretty decent thing to go for. One-handed and two-handed is always going to be useful in some way or another and we do get that additional 20 renown. So I think I'll go for that and we'll make him 30 years old. Technically, I would really like to go 50, but that's way too close, in my opinion, to, well, uh, you know, you know how it is. Uh, maybe death. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't really want to do that. I, I'd like to maybe make him 
uh, able to survive for a little bit of time and uh, I have had things happen to characters that are a little bit lower in uh, in survivability rates so you know that's just how we're going to do it okay so we're going to take a classic Dothraki name by the way this is an absolutely classic Dothraki name if you haven't actually seen the uh, TV show or the books I'd highly recommend it it's even you know that's the thing the main character of Game of Thrones is literally called Barney Beartilt, okay? So obviously you know that I'm joking here by now, right? Hopefully. Hopefully you know that I'm joking. Anyway, otherwise apart from that, auto allocate clan member perks, that's usually what I'm gonna go for. And we're just gonna leave everything the way it is. I usually like to leave this all the all the way that it is in the beginning, because that is so well, it's it's harsh. It's very, very harsh. If if it turns out that we need to maybe change something, tweak something here and there then I'll let you know about that, but usually I just leave it the way it is. So we're just going to play on full Bannerlord difficulty for the moment, and I think it might take a little bit of time to load. Alright, so I'm making my way over to this village here, and hopefully, yes indeed, we are able to recruit them. It's going to cost me 100 gold to recruit 5. Okay, I think that should be fine. We're going to have to be a little bit careful about my money situation here, because I'm not entirely sure how we're actually going to make money. That's the thing that we have to be, uh, <laughs> we have to be very careful of that. And as you can see, they've given me a very generous batch of stones. So I've got 14 stones to chuck at the opponent. And we also have a hatchet. Yeah, that's not going to be particularly useful, is it? Oh well. Never mind, I have no idea what kinds of opponents we're actually going to be facing anyway, by the way. But yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, one thing that we want to do, let's just take a quick look. Okay, yeah, this is... <laughs> this is not looking... But Whoa, okay, these are extremely expensive. I'm, lo I'm thinking about... I was thinking about trade goods, actually. I was very much thinking of trade goods. I actually do want to purchase a horse. Is there one here? Yes, for 229. That's actually not entirely bad. I will purchase a horse. We do not have a saddle. Oh, dear. This is going to be... Uh, I'm going to... I'm probably going to rue the day that I do this. Yeah. Um, I am actually going to go with no saddle. It's going to give me a 10% mounted mounted speed penalty, which is going to reduce my speed by four points or so, which is not really that bad. I don't really care about that too much because what I would like to get is I'd like to get this lance. Now, this is going to be an extremely risky investment, primarily because I don't know whether we're going to be even able to get any bandits um, interested in uh, in murdering us. Oh, hello. Okay, we actually do already have a bunch of broken men. These guys have archers as well. That's actually kind of perfect. Anyway, I haven't specced my focus points just yet because I kind of wanted to wait until you were with me to do that. And so... What are we going to do? Well, I would like to go for some more pole arm skill. I would like to go for some more smithing skill. And we'll go for more uh, medicine as well. I am hoping that I will not need to spec into steward. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. We could potentially spec into leadership here. Or we could go for riding skill. Or maybe some athletics. Maybe some athletics might make more sense. I don't know. But I'm thinking to myself right now, if we can get into a lot of battles and maybe we can smelt some things, we might have the opportunity to make some really, really big moves early on. And that's kind of what I'm hoping to do here. Mm. All right, focus point in this, focus point in this, and we'll go for two points in vigor and that will be it. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Isn't that so funny? I literally talk about something completely different, and then I talk about the thing that I'm thinking to myself, oh, yeah, no, no, I, I shouldn't do that, and then I do the opposite. I don't know. I'm not sure what happens with my thought process whenever that happens, but I don't know. There you go. Anyway, uh, this is a, a thrusting pole arm, which is obviously what we anticipated. Now, let me see if I can actually do something against these archers. Obviously, my mount isn't as fast as it could be. But the enemy is not really going to be able to do too much to me right now. I've got an amazing, ma amazing pole arm, actually. This is a very, very good pole arm. Surprisingly enough, for 170. Nice. Okay, already eliminated one. And now I'm just going to tell my forces to charge in right here. I'm going to hopefully be able to do some damage. Oh, no, we knocked him down, though. That's perfect. 
Oh, oh, my forces are doing great. Oh, I'm surprised. Okay, guys, you can le you can you can level. You can level. Come on now. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, what? Why are they doing so well? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, do they have really good stats, or, or what's actually going on here? Because I am very surprised. We took zero casualties. Wow. Okay. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm going to take a look at their stats right now because I am I am absolutely gobsmacked. I was a hundred percent believing that we were going to be suffering greatly at the hands of these interlopers. Um, but no, <laughs> no, apparently not. Okay, I'm wondering whether we should actually take a bow or not. Mm, I would like to eventually use a bow because if we are going to go to war against House Targaryen, we are going to inevitably need the ability to deal damage from, from range. Otherwise, the dragons are just going to absolutely murder us. And they do have dragons available, of course. You know, you know they do. Oh, yes, they do. Okay, so this guy actually needs grain seeds. How much are you willing to pay for grain seeds, sir? Uh, 570. He wants 30, 30 grain. Oh, okay. Um, actually, you know what? Why is he a grain village and he needs grain? He has... Are you... Is he... Is he... Is he okay? <laughs> is he okay right now because he needs 30 grain and I mean I'm gonna lose money but we're gonna gain relation which is the only thing that I I don't have enough money oh are you joking right now oh you okay I'm gonna sell this I really cannot believe that I don't have enough money to do this okay I'm just gonna sell that sell that there we go I literally do not have enough money to do this that is so funny all right, there we go. Here's your grain, sir. There we go. He gave me... Um, did he not... Did he not give me any money? He didn't give me any money? Wait a minute. Did I read that wrong? I don't think so. I thought he was supposed to give me 570. Oh, well. Never mind. Okay, I guess... I, I guess that I've just turned the difficulty level up to 11 then, I suppose. Oh, that's wonderful, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a classic. What a classic and a half. And I literally gave him all my grain as well, which is so funny in itself. All right. Well, there we go. We're going to get another 293, which is also fine. And now we can actually level these guys up. Now, unfortunately, I do not have any mounts. So we are just going to have to deal with the infantry focus of the uh, the Dothraki tree right here. I would love to be able to get mounted bow lords. I personally feel like they are amazing. They're really, really good. But unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. So we will just level them, uh, level them up into footmen here, and I will ransom my prisoners. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, hello there, sir. He's actually Dothraki, which would be fantastic, but I don't have enough to actually get him. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough to actually get him. Let me have a look. Oh, Escort Merchant Caravan. No, why? Why are you giving me the Escort, Escort Merchant Caravan quest right now? I don't need it right now. I need it soon, though. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh, I guess I will go for full speed, because that's going to do more damage for us. And I will level up my medicine skill once again. Apparently, I'm being a medic for some reason. I don't know why, but... Oh, well, never mind. Uh, yeah, I should actually put myself as... The, oh, no. I don't I don't have a companion, so that's not going to work. All right. So what I need to do is I now need to find uh, more broken men pretty fast. Aha. Okay. So we found some rogue Dothraki. Now, Back this could danger. be either one of the worst ways to literally die because, let's face it, they have horses. We don't. My, my fellows do not actually have any spears either. So you may have thought, oh, footmen have spears, right? No, no, they don't, they don't. Um, so yeah, that's maybe going to be a bit of an issue. I'm going to tell my forces to charge in right here. Maybe I can do some damage myself. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, this is, this is not going to work out so well, is it? Or maybe it is 90 damage. Yes, that is what we need. Can I get more of that, please? Nice. 76 damage. Okay. Come on now. Charge at, charge at me, friends. I, I need you to charge at me so that I can deal damage. Thank you. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's never going to happen. Nice. Okay, even if it was just 16 damage, that's good enough. 
Wow, this this pole arm is is pretty awful, but it's doing it's doing relatively decently for me right now. Oh yeah, we've got to bear him. Oh, I forgot about this. We have to bear in mind actually that, as I just talked about at the very beginning of the video, this is basically early game archers, early game horse archers, and they are not going to be any good at ranged attacks. And I'm going to be very very surprised if they're able to do any damage at all. But the, obviously the main problem is the fact that we are now having to fight them ourselves. I mean, I am the one that literally has to fight because my own forces are not really going to be able to do too much considering the enemy is on a mount. That's obviously going to be a big problem. Oh, nice. There we go. We actually managed to hit him. Oh, we hit him too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we are actually doing a lot better than anticipated. I thought to myself, hey, you know what? If I start in Dothraki territory, I kind of thought I was going to get run down, you know? I thought I was literally going to get absolutely murdered. Hmm, actually, hello. These rogue Dothraki actually level up into some relatively decent units. I might be able to persuade them to join us as well. Maybe that's something that we want to go for. What do these guys use? They use throne weapons. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for the throne weapons right here. The uh, the skirmishers are always extremely fun for me. At least I like them a lot. And we've got... Oh, nice. We've got some... We actually got a horse right here. And a bunch of bunch of food. we got some boots, which I don't actually need, apparently. And we also have this. I don't need that either. That's fine. All right. Yeah, well, we took all of that. Now, I am very low in terms of gold, <laughs> as you might expect, after leveling up all of my troops. However, there is a very nearby party of Dothraki, and maybe we can actually do battle with them and achieve victory once more. Oh, where did they go? Oh, well, they were right here. Oh, there, there they are. Oh, what? Did you see that? Ah, uh, okay. They, they seem to disappear somehow. I actually don't know what happened with that. Anyway, um, plus 2% damage with pole arms were mounted. That is, of course, what we're going to be taking, I think. Um, yeah, we also have another focus point. So what are we going to do? Well, that's the question. Medicine skill isn't really... Yeah, it's not really helping me right now. So I should probably spec into something else that is going to help me. So I'm thinking right now, maybe I should go for some more riding skill. Yeah, maybe, maybe some more writing skill. Maybe we should go for some scouting as well, even though, to be fair, a companion could very easily do scouting. I don't think I really want to waste focus points. I would like to try and be as self-sustaining as possible if I can. I wouldn't mind some athletic skill just in case we do end up doing some tournaments. And obviously, inevitably, we are going to need sieges as well. And having stamina, which is plus 50% crafting stamina recovery rate, that is going to be extremely useful for us if I don't want imposing stature. So I'm thinking we'll maybe just go for the uh, go for the writing skill right now because that's generally what I'm going to be using right here. So They're we're just going to do that, and we are going to go straight on in. Let's do it. Otherwise, I am a little bit injured. I'm actually going to see. Wait a minute. Can we can we do something really sneaky here? Can we place my forces on this hill? And then just basically have them murder everything that comes up. Maybe. Nice. Oh, I'm so pleased he kept his bow out. Oh, I am so pleased he kept his bow out right there. That was that was a huge mistake on his part. That was really, really perfect for us, though. This guy is... Oh, this guy's an ambusher. Okay, we might have some issues with him. He's got higher stats. So we have to be a bit careful. Oh, what? How did I miss that? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right, all right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't get killed. Don't get killed. I literally cannot die, okay? I have to not die for us to achieve victory here, in my opinion. I think it is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be an extremely difficult battle if I actually end up losing or dying myself, shall we say? Oh, no. I need to I need to kill this guy. Oh, they always get out their melee weapons. It's so annoying. Ah... Uh, Okay, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can block this guy. Yes, nice. There we go. We work together a little bit there. Okay, I'm going to have to do something with this fellow. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, yeah he, he's going to be annoying, isn't he? Yeah, they're both going to be annoying. Oh, this one. This one. Oh, yeah. See, now, this is, the, this is the reason why I'm actually not a big fan of these kinds of pole arms. Because even though I'm actually not a... 
I, you know, I, I don't mind a thrusting polearm. I think a thrusting polearm can definitely work. However, this one is very, very long and quite unwieldy as a result. Obviously, I do have a very low polearm skill at the moment, so obviously that makes a big difference. But generally, you know, you want a little bit of a shorter one so that you can actually wield it so much better. You're gonna have a lot, uh, a lot of an easier time, you know, so much more of an easier time dealing with that um, in comparison to this. Because you can see here that if I go close to this enemy right here, I'm just not really... Oh, I can't believe I got myself eliminated right there. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I should technically be fine. My forces should be able to do... Cue the Benny Hill music right now. Okay, I'll, I'll just do it, should I? Da, 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 da. Oh, I don't want to get copyrighted, actually. Never mind. Okay, let's, let's, just, let's just leave it, okay? Um, oh, yeah, this is going to be a problem. Yeah. Are my forces actually going to lose? If, if if one more of them gets eliminated, I feel like I'm gonna have to retreat. Oh, this is oh this is actually bad. This is not a laughing matter actually now. <laughs> actually, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's still hilarious. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of hoping that he's gonna run out of arrows, or is, is he gonna run out of arrows eventually? I. Is this is this some kind of ridiculous joke right now? Oh dear. Wait a minute, let me actually just see. No, he only has a melee weapon now. My forces are not really... Okay, wait a minute. Can I actually... Oh, I can't issue orders while I'm dead. Ugh. Okay, come on, guys. Can you please attack him? You've got some good weapons. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, you know what? I kind of feel like maybe what I should do is retreat and then just auto-resolve against this party right here. I feel like I'd probably have better success doing that than watching these guys do this absolutely useless useless maneuver. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to retreat and then just do the auto-resolve against them. I didn't want to do that, but this is the easiest way to get that done because otherwise we're just going to be here until, uh, well, until the sun dies, basically. Anyway, let's just go for another one of these Dothraki warriors. I did actually, um, I did get some some money uh, just from just from defeating the fellows. So I'm pretty pleased with this. Okay, we're gonna go back over to the main town here. Hopefully, my medicine skill is gonna level up now as well. And it seems like it is a little bit. Oh, oh, oh! Ned Stark has just been executed for treason. The lion and the wolf are at each other's throats. Stannis and Ren... Stannis? No, no, that's not his name. Stannis and Renly Baratheon are calling their banners to claim what they think is rightfully theirs. The War of the Five Kings has begun. You have been thrust into this grim world of deceit and treachery. Amidst all the turmoil lies many opportunities to make a name for yourself. What path will you choose? Just remember, if you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. And indeed, uh, that is that is exactly what is going to happen. Uh, potentially, I mean, I did just die in that uh, in that last battle, so let's not talk about it. All right. So otherwise, I am just going to be selling absolutely every single thing I have here, apart from the mace. I don't think I really need to sell that. I will be selling the date fruit and the olives, and probably the meat and the butter as well, because they are selling for a significant amount. And I will actually be purchasing a little bit of food here. But look at our money situation. Our money situation has completely taken a turn for the better. I am extremely pleased with this. I'm kind of wondering whether I should purchase a better spear now. This is obviously a lot better, even though it's quite funny because this is apparently a tier 2 weapon. Whereas this is a tier 1 weapon, but I personally prefer the tier 1 weapon. It's actually quite funny. Hmm. Maybe we should go for it. Okay, I'll go for it. Do, do we have a saddle here that I can maybe purchase as well for a relatively cheap price? 285. I don't really want to spend 285. I'm thinking we'll just go for the cheapest one for the moment, just so that I can continue to uh, do relatively decent damage. I don't need to do massive damage or anything like that, but good enough. You know what I mean? Just good enough. That's all I really want. All right. So... Let's see what we can do here. I would like to go to the nearby village. I would also love to do some tasks. And do I have 25 in medicine yet? 
because getting 25 in medicine would make a huge difference. Uh, no, we don't. We only have 21. All right. It would make a huge difference to our overall success because that's going to give me preventive medicine. And then I'm not going to have to worry so much about not being included in upcoming battles because preventive medicine is just going to make a huge difference in that regard. Okay, so I do have some relatively decent troops right here. I'm going to be recruiting some people here too. And we've got some broken men in this direction. Let's see if I can fight them. <laughs> I'm at 23% HP. This is the reason why we really do need to get preventive medicine. It is so incredibly important early on. And I, I, I've myself said, you know what? I don't like preventive medicine. A long time ago, this is what I said. But nowadays, nowadays, preventive medicine is is definitely the way to go. It is so, so good at keeping your character in the battle. And isn't that the main, that's, that's the main concern most of the time, isn't it? You know, you want to keep your own character in the battle so that you can continue to earn experience. It really makes a huge difference. Anyway, let's see if I can do some damage here with my new weapon. I did spend quite a lot on this, actually. I mean, this is a pretty significant amount to spend early game. So I'm very much hoping that I'll be able to do a decent enough job with it. Yeah, it seems like it's okay. I did send my forces into a charge here, very much on purpose, because I want to level up my... I want to level up my medicine skill. I was very much hoping I wouldn't get eliminated by the archers there, but oh well. <laughs> uh, my forces should have a decent enough time achieving victory. Yes, indeed they did. And uh, yeah, well, the renown and the morale doesn't really matter to me right now. All that matters is victory. And that's what we're going for. I'm also not actually going to be leveling up any of these guys into tribal warriors. I think this is a mistake early on. I don't think that that's a good idea. Basically, what I'm going to do is I will try to get as powerful of an army as I can without mounted troops until we have a slightly better e economic strength. Because as it stands right now, the only thing that is really holding me back is the ability to earn cash. Because as it is right now, obviously I don't have anything that gives me it gives me passive cash. I will literally need to run into, you know, rogue Dothraki territory or something like that to be able to make any money. Um, of course, I could also, you know, do the, do the classic thing and I could go into this tournament right here, which I will plan on doing. I will be going into the tournament in just a moment. However, I need to wait for my HP to restore itself. And my medicine skill is actually almost at 25. I'm kind of hoping that my own restoration is going to give me that 25th medicine skill point. Maybe I'm going to be lucky and it will actually get me that. Yeah, nope, doesn't seem like it. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, we can go into the tournament here. A brigandine vest is the reward. I was kind of hoping it would be a horse of some kind, but, you know, we can't always win, can we? No, we can't always win, but this is actually a relatively decent chess piece, so I'm not terribly disappointed. So, oh, yeah, I'm terribly disappointed with them giving me a bow, though. Okay, I'll just try to do some damage here relatively quickly. Oh, we leveled up already, really? Why is he using a bow still? Why are you using a bow, sir? I don't know. <laughs> Why was he... Oh, no, 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 no. I literally just took an arrow in the neck. Obviously, I do not have a helmet. Bear that in mind. I don't have a helmet, so of course, I am going to be taking insane damage. That reminds me, I really should get a helmet. Shouldn't I? Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, he blocked the wrong way. Fantastic. Love that. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm actually betting quite a bit here for my um, <laughs> for my current coffers. That's not particularly good, is it? Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm actually not looking forward to this. Oh, dear. Um, we might have some issues. Oh, he's dead. Yes. Hoo -hoo. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, he actually helped me. That guy, the other fellow. Okay, uh, I should probably get out my bow, actually. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> Me using a bow on horseback with my riding skill? Good luck, you know. It's going to be very difficult.
right, it's us against him now. I am very pleased. Oh, I am so proud of my team right now. I am so proud of them because I really did not want to fight this guy in the final round. That would have been a travesty. And I probably would have ended up losing. Actually, you know what? I might still lose. This is a bow lord. But thankfully, I'm using a polearm. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to get me with that, sir. You're not going to get me with that. No, 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 no. close okay I feel like I, I feel like I'm cutting it way too close with this guy right now okay oh what <laughs> okay we're both just missing we are both just missing consistently and any anytime we don't miss we're blocking each other yeah that's that's hilarious okay wait a minute I've got this I mean, I've hit him once. That's literally all I need to do. I don't have any ranged weapons, by the way. This is my only weapon right now. Nice. Oh, he made a mistake. He thought he could beat me with his superior polearm skills. But thankfully, I was able to... Uh, well, I don't even know what. I guess uh, <laughs> it was just luck, to be honest. Okay, let's see. What? What? What did you do there, sir? He had no idea. He had no idea what was going on. Oh, well, there we go. That's it. That is perfect. Very, very nice. Look at that. Now we are. Now we can be a little bit more relaxed. Now we can relax and we can be basically say, hey, we've got some decent cash. You know, the cash is still going to diminish very, very quickly. Don't get me wrong. It's still going to go away just like that. You know, it's going to be very fast to just disappear. However, look at what we just got. Brigandine vest, super nice. I might be even. Ah, oh, should I should I even purchase this? I don't know. You know what? I'd love to purchase this, but that's not going to happen in a million years. Um, let me see. What else can I actually purchase here that's going to help me? Nothing. This is four seventy five. That is way too expensive for twelve head armor. No offense. That is just way too expensive. Okay, we're just going to buy a couple more little bits of food right here, and then we're just going to go off and see if I can maybe fight. So I am, um, some Dothraki raiders or something like that. Let me actually just take a quick look into my prisoner's hold here, because I'm thinking maybe we have some that can be converted. And if we do, then that's good. That, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, not the broken men, though. I'm not actually going to be looking to take the broken men or anything like that, but I will take the Dothraki. That's basically what we're going to do. This is like a themed, themed series, obviously, as you might expect. And we're just going to be focusing on Dothraki units for the most part until uh, sometime later in the game where we have you know hopefully conquered some things and then I will start you know incorporating those into our armies and so on and so forth okay so let's have a look here mm -hmm, no veterinary sounds like the best possible course of action for us and I don't know what I should go for here what I really want to do is I want to do one more in pole arms because we're using pole arms pretty much all the time. And I really want to go for another point in intelligence because I personally want to be the medicine, engineering, and maybe even the steward person. Should I literally just go ahead and do that? Because then I can actually focus on potentially marrying someone that doesn't actually have a huge amount of steward skill. And maybe they're better at combat. Maybe they're better at scouting. Maybe they're better at something else. But I feel like going into steward right now is a waste. So I'm not really wanting to do that. So I will just go for another point in endurance here. Obviously, I'm not going to forget about smithing. We are still going to be thinking about, you know, um, creating some really, really nice weapons later on down the line. I'm hopeful that we'll be able to create a wonderful two-handed, for example. Really, You've really want to, to do that. Do I have 25 in medicine? No, I still have 24. Are you serious? Yeah, well, we know that medicine is going to take a long time to work until... Um, until we get Doctor's Oath, of course. Then everything's gonna change. Anyway, I would just tell everyone to charge. There is really no, no need for us to be particularly sheepish about this. And I will just let my forces charge in 
however they like. Oh, I really wish I was better with this pole I'm early on. You know what we can be really thankful for right there? That fellow hitting my shoulder. If he had hit my head, I'd be dead right now. Literally. That was that was very close in actual fact. I feel like I would have been dead very fast. As we saw in the uh, in one of the previous battles. So, or was it in the tournament? I think it was in the tournament. Someone shot me for 92 piercing damage. And that was just because they shot me in the head. And uh, it was almost a one shot. <laughs> it's almost a one shot. Anyway, there we go. We've got some more Rogue Dothraki, which is wonderful. We're going to be going for some more of these. More footmen. And as you can see, these Rogue Dothraki actually level up into pillagers without any war mounts, which is very nice. That's kind of the whole purpose of why I'm doing that, by the way, so that we don't actually need war mounts because, well, war mounts have been a huge bugbear for me in uh, previous series. And I'm very much hoping that because we are in Dothraki territory, maybe we won't need a huge amount of war mounts. I mean, we are going to need a lot of war mounts, of course, but maybe we're going to have a good supply. That's what I'm mostly talking about. I'm surprised that we still don't have 25 in medicine. Okay, you know what yeah. I'm going to do? Oh, no, what? you know what? I was actually going to say, I'm going to auto resolve here, but as you can see, the cavalry will gain a large bonus. And they're all cavalry, basically. So I'm pretty sure we might even end up losing, which would be a huge, huge travesty for us. Anyway, we've got some more horse archers here. We've got some horse archers? The pillagers are horse archers? Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I didn't actually know that. Right. Okay, well, let's do it then, I guess. Um, yeah, well, I mean, these are just the standard, you know, these are just the standard Dothraki rebels, so we shouldn't have to worry about this too much. Oh, nice damage, too. That's wonderful. Oh, and we actually eliminated him. Wow, that's great. Ah, uh, unfortunately, they're hitting me on the arm. Yeah, I've got no armor on the arm. Well, I have very little, at least. Oh, they're getting out their melee weapons literally just to block me that one time. Oh, that's hilarious. The micromanaging that the AI is capable of doing right now is insane. Nice. I don't think he saw that coming. Or maybe he did, and he just didn't care. Oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you see that just now? I was actually going to do a really cool maneuver, or I was trying to do a really cool maneuver, and uh, I was wanting to jump over the small gap. I don't know whether you noticed it, but there was a small gap in between the two rock formations right here. And let me just show you something real fast. Oh, yeah, there's an invisible wall here. Why? Why? <laughs> Why is there an invisible wall there? Is it is it is it because uh, I, I I don't know. Is, is it a ride? You know, is it a ride at Disney World or something like that? I mean, what's going on with that? I have no idea. Why why is there some kind of safety mechanism in place to prevent people from I don't know, jumping a very small ledge down? I I don't know. I mean, the whole purpose of me doing this was to literally go like so, and then I was planning on jumping like this. Ah, uh, I still can't do it, of course. But, you know, I really wanted to jump over there and have a fun old time, but no, apparently not. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, uh, yeah, so as you can see, I would actually need Veterans Respect to upgrade this bandit troop into a normal troop. So obviously, if you take a look at the um, Dothraki pillagers right here, 
they would normally be able to go into Dothraki ambushes or... Wait a minute. No, they would go into Dothraki raiders. So the pillager actually still has the ability to level up into Dothraki ambushes and indeed then eventually into Dothraki Khal's guards, which would be amazing. Yeah, they can level up into ambushes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so apparently I don't need Veterans Respect then, because these guys level up no matter what. So I shouldn't have to worry about that too much. We've got some very nice bows here as well. Um, I'm still waiting for a helmet. I'm not sure what's going on with the helmets. For some reason we're getting very unlucky in, in them supplying us with helmets. I mean, they all have helmets on, don't they? Or maybe they don't. Oh no. <laughs> if they don't, then that's obviously the reason, but yeah. Please give me 25 medicine skill. That is literally all I require. Yes, there we go. We got it. Okay, preventive medicine. Perfect. Exactly what I'm going to take. We're also going to be taking braced right here, I think. Yeah, that's really, really good. Because obviously, look at this. 25% chance of dismounting enemy cavalry with a heavy hit. And or if we took keep at bay, for example, this would only be for thrust attacks made with pole arms. And that doesn't matter how much damage you deal. You just have a flat 30% chance. So for me personally, I want braced because I'm eventually going to be using some kind of slashing weapon, in my opinion. I think that's going to probably be the, uh, the go-to thing of choice for me personally. And I wouldn't mind specking into some leadership here, so I might do that. Yeah, why not? And uh, I'm thinking, should I stay in the area or should I go? Uh, I would like to fight these. Yes, there we go. Them. Let's get these out of the way. Because watch my HP right now. Watch my HP. Just wait, 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 wait. Once we get back onto the world map, you'll see. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy good. That's preventive medicine coming to my rescue right there. Super, super nice. I need more spotting skill. Or is, uh, not spotting. I need more We're scouting just... skill. Yes, I need more scouting skill. That would make a huge difference. I'm actually going to go and try an auto-resolve here. Okay, that actually did work out quite well. I was a bit, uh, you know, I was a bit worried about it, to be honest, but it actually worked out very, very nicely. Oh, yeah, it worked out nicely. Look at that. We've got a ridged saber. Very good. Okay. We also got a better harness for our horse, and I'm just going to go back to the town now. Pretty happy with that. Don't need to worry about it too much. We're getting some steward skill here, but I, again, I, I don't know whether I'm actually going to go for steward skill myself. I feel like that would maybe be a waste. I'm going to actually get this guy now, now that I have enough cash. So we are going to get him. How much are you... So oh, no, I forgot. Okay, yeah, I actually forgot that Realm of Thrones has... Uh, you know, like custom prices for the companions. Because let's face it, companions are sometimes going to be absolutely amazing. And, well, this guy is obviously no different. He is pretty good. He has some pretty decent stats. Anyway, uh, yeah, I will just sell everything then, I suppose. There is, it really isn't any reason for me to keep any of it. I was actually keeping it for that guy, just in case he needed some gear or armor or, you know, a bow or two or something like that. But yeah, no, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell the ridged saber as well, because literally being able to sell this for 2,500 is absolutely incredible. And I would be a fool to not, not sell that, even though I could smelt it for, uh, you know, some pretty decent uh, resources. But, you know, it's not really something that I am looking for right now. So we're just going to sell all the uh, all the harnesses too. Going to sell the meat, the butter, the grapes. And we'll just buy a little bit of other foodstuffs just to make sure that everything's working out quite nicely for us. Now, technically, I have 6,100. I could actually get him now, couldn't I? How much was he? I think he was like 6,600 or something, wasn't he? Hmm. I think that's too expensive for me right now. I don't really want to do that. So I am instead just going to be going off in this direction. And I will attempt to uh, maybe... Uh, wait a minute. Is there a... Oh, there is actually something going on over here. But this is... Yeah, this is Yee-T right here. Okay. Um, I wouldn't mind fighting some... Ah, hello. This is a relatively large party. So I wouldn't mind fighting them. Okay, so the Dothraki ambushes. Okay. So they... They require... 
Yes. Okay, so they are the ones that will require veterans' respect. So before that, we didn't need veterans' respect, but now we do. So I think it's a good idea that I actually spec'd into a little bit of leadership, because we are going to need veterans' respect then. If we want to make that work, that is, obviously. Okay, let's try and get these into a battle. There we go. All right, so there's only seven of them, but obviously, as we've seen, it's actually quite tricky for us to make this work because the enemy is just so incredibly slippery. But this is going to give me the opportunity to level up my polearm skill and indeed my riding skill too. And eventually, that is going to make a huge difference, hopefully, because I would very much like to be a menace on the battlefield. You know, I want to deal as much damage as possible. I want to be able to one-shot enemies and, uh, you know, hopefully carry our forces to victory as best as I can. Oh, nice. That was a nice hit. Oh, yes. Isn't that... Uh, that is such a classic and a half, isn't it? As soon as I am literally trying to get these guys in a wonderful, yeah, like that, massive damage hit. As soon as I'm trying to do that, nope. <laughs> nope. As soon as I'm actively trying, it's quite funny. Don't know why that happens. Anyway, there you go. Nice. Good, good amount of renown. Okay, we're getting pretty terrible loot, actually. Pretty terrible loot. Mm -mm, getting a little bit, a little bit un... Eh. Uh, no, 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 not that impressed. Not that, not that impressed about that, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so, hmm... I am now thinking that we will go for some more leadership because Veterans Respect is all the way up here. It's 150, which is rather, it's rather expensive. But I'm also thinking of Steward Skill right now. If I do Steward Skill, ah, that's not good. I don't want to do Steward Skill. I don't think that's a good idea. So I will go for some more leadership. Why not? And we have these fellows over here that we could potentially do battle with. We have this guy that can also level up into another Dothraki ambusher. We have this fellow that can also be converted to join us. And let's see if we can catch up to these guys. No, we're not able to. Uh, we might be able to now. Nope, still not able to. I don't want to fight the hideout if I can help it. Because if I fight the hideout, you know what's going to happen. It's, it's just going to remove all of these infinite spawns. It's going to make it very hard for us to find bandits until the well, until more of them crop up. Because no doubt there's going to be a load of them cropping up over time, but you know, it would be very, very appreciated if we could make the most of the presence of these bandits as best as we can. Kind of cornered them right there. That's actually perfect. Um, maybe something that we want to consider in the future, potentially, for some upcoming strategies. But yeah, maybe, maybe that's going to be somewhat useful for us. Because obviously, if we can actually get them into these kinds of areas, they're not going to be able to run around us as much. It's going to be a lot easier for us to pin them down. Unfortunately, the enemy is just so good at blocking me right now. Because obviously, I only have 
I only have two ways that I can attack with this weapon. So it is <laughs> a little bit more <laughs> a little bit more difficult than I would like. But oh well never mind. We were able to eliminate them and that's it. There we go. I think we should be getting to Clan Tier 2 relatively soon as well, which I'm very much looking forward to, because if we can get to Clan Tier 2, it's going to enable me to field more troops. I'm going to be able to take on um, larger tasks, for example, escort merchant caravan quests, you know, and stuff like that. That's really going to make a huge difference. Obviously, preventive medicine coming in really, really clutch right here as well. You can see that we are now back up at 30% HP, instead of having to wait for the inevitable march of time to give me back that heal, you know, to give me back the ability to even enter battles. So very pleased with that. And do we have any more, um, any more bandits around here? I really want to get, you know what I want to do? I want to get a companion that's capable of using scouting skill. I literally want someone that has a massive amount of scouting skill. This guy's a steward, but he's going to be extremely expensive. Just, I can judge from his armor right now that he's going to be very expensive. Don't think that's really going to work out too well for me, but... We can try it, you know, we can try speaking to him. And we also have jor here as well. She obviously doesn't have any skills at all, as far as I can tell. Or she does have skills, but the skills that she does have are going to be relatively low. I'll speak to this guy and see how, how much he actually... Yeah, okay. <laughs> 25,000. He is 25,000. Okay, how much is Jorel then? She's only 559. Okay, sure. Why not? Why not? I mean, literally, this, this is... Uh, no offense, but beggars can't be choosers at this point. I, I literally do not have any other choice, and... It might work out. I don't know. It might work out quite nicely for us. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Let's take a look at her stats. And let's see how she's doing. Alright. So, what does she have? She has medicine. Medicine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to respec her. I'm going to respec her, okay? She's not going to have medicine skill. And she's instead going to have scouting skill. Because she already has two focus points in that. So we're also going to uh, turn off auto allocation of clan, mem mem blah, blah, blah. clan member perks, if I can speak. Um, yeah, we'll turn that off. And then we'll obviously ha hope to have something happen there with that. These guys can level up into these fellows. I don't know. Oh, what? Wait a minute, they level up just like that? That's actually insane. <laughs> That's actually insane if you think about it. These fellows can literally level up from just mere recruits, and then they will eventually get all the way to Mounted Samurai, where they will literally have this crazy stat line. Look at how, uh, wow, they are just incredible. They are so, so good. I'm actually thinking of recruiting some of them, but I don't know. Maybe it would be fun, actually. Maybe it would be fun to recruit them. Anyway, I'm going to take this quest, as you might expect, obviously. 550 dinars, and there's also a tournament available here. Wind's Fury, that is a sword as far as I remember, right? Yep, it is. I mean, we might be able to sell this for a decent amount. Why not? And uh, this is going to give me the opportunity to uh, see what this particular tournament is going to be like. I'm very low in HP still. I'm an idiot. You know that. Uh, I should not have gone in here like this. That's all I can say. I should not have gone in here like this. This is bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, how are my forces doing? Not too bad so far. That guy's almost dead. There's, there's someone from the red team that is literally almost dead. So I'm very surprised. Oh, wait a minute. Is the Lord actually on my team? Or uh, not the Lord, but, you know, the, the companion that we wanted to get. No, no, he's on the green team. Let's eliminate him, please. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, there's actually a bunch of them. Oh, no. I chose the worst tournament to enter in my life. Oh, dear. Get him. Get this guy! No! Oh, no, sir. Oh, dear. This is very bad. Oh, this is very bad. Oh, no. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, I really want to eliminate this guy because I don't want to fight him. 
in future rounds. Oh, we got him. Yes. Okay, that means that we are automatically through to the next round, or we should be, at least. Oh, never mind. Okay, I actually did manage to achieve victory, surprisingly enough. And now we just got one versus ones, uh, apart from a two versus two in the next round. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. They gave me a pole arm. This is going to be a lot easier. <laughs> As you can see. Yeah, that was easy, wasn't it? All right. So here we go. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay. They get... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is okay. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you serious right now? How did that happen? How did I let that happen? I am an idiot. Okay. Nice. I just went I just went to town on him. That's it. I just went to town on him. That's literally all that I did right there. Maybe we can actually do something with this guy. Okay. Apparently that fellow literally was just like, no, I'm done. <laughs> okay, we got thrown weapons. Whoa, we're getting a massive variety of things that we can use in this tournament. Okay, I'm just going to be very careful here. Nice headshot. Well, it's a neck shot, but still. Same thing. Kind of. Nice. Ooh, that was good. Okay, wow. I am very, very pleased right there. Okay, so this sword's obviously going to sell for... I'm going to assume 1200 or so. Maybe something like that. I'm definitely going to be selling it, by the way. I'm definitely not going to use it. Even though, technically, it would be a relatively decent thing to use. It's not something that I am... Um, Really looking for right now. Yeah, no, it sells for almost 2,000. That's absolutely perfect. So yeah, we're just going to sell that straight up. And let's see, is there actually anything that I can purchase here that is going to help me? I might be able to, you know what? Should I just purchase this bandit cap right now? It's going to give me 24 armor, which is relatively decent. Um, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, maybe. Okay, let's go for it. Why not? And okay, that lagged the game somehow. I'm... Huh... Um, <laughs> I think there's a bit of a texture issue with this, but uh, hopefully that won't crash the game. That's all I can say. I'm going to buy these as well because I do need a little bit on my arms right there. And that's what we're going to go for. All right. Let me just save real fast just in case, just in case it actually does cause some kind of conflict and it ends up crashing. Hopefully it won't. I've never had issues with Realm of Thrones like that anyway. Um, you know, if there's a crash, then usually it is... Just random, you know, something to do with the base game potentially most of the time. Aha! That's a lot of broken men parties. Okay, let's do it. Let's just go in for a nice little auto resolve against them. That is going to be so easy for us. And boom. Nice. That's it. And we even completed the quest in an instant right there as well, which is even better. And so what we want to do now is we're just going to sell this, sell that. And uh, yeah, as I said, I will be respecking Jorel so that she will actually have um, a uh, a chance to be our uh, our scout, so that she's not actually going to be, um, you know, she's not going to be uh, wasting points, wasting focus points in medicine, because that is just not what we want her to do. And uh, we'll, you know, I I'll, I'll make sure that she specs into better things when we actually get her to level up. And hopefully she will actually be able to level up because let's face it, sometimes it's just not possible, you know? Sometimes it literally is just not possible because the, the companion is just not good at combat or whatever the case may be. Anyway, a nice little auto resolve here as well. A grass sea peasant. That actually does become a Dothraki, but I don't see the point in it. So we will just continue to level up those people here. Uh, we could take the Sumter Horse. Nice. We got our first Sumter Horse right there, too. That's going to help us a great deal. Oh, we've got some more Rogue Dothraki here. We might be Back able to do battle three. with them and actually maybe get some good good loot. Because I don't know whether you've noticed, but uh, Dothraki bandits usually have some much better than average gear. And if we can fight larger, larger ones, then that would be... Ideal. Back off, stranger. There we go. Okay, here we go. This is a lot better. Okay, so let me just <laughs> let me just spec my perks because I haven't obviously done that for quite some time. I would probably like to go for nomadic traditions, even though I am eventually probably going to be having a primarily cavalry based force. I will be having some archers and infantry as well because we want to try to make sure that our cavalry always have the ability to flank, and I don't want to provide the enemy 
with only one force of troops that they have to focus on because otherwise that's going to be a huge issue. So nomadic traditions is definitely going to help us at least at the moment. None of this is actually going to help me at all. So I'm probably just going to take wrapped handles for the increased to one handed skill to infantry troops. And that's basically it. All right, let's go in, see what we can do. I'm um, actually kind of wondering whether we're even going to be able to declare war against House Targaryen because obviously there is that sort of, um, yeah, you know, alliance between them, uh, canonically, kind of, sort of thing, maybe. Um, so yeah, that might be a bit of an issue for us. Not sure, not sure. If it is, if it is, then we'll find other enemies, don't worry. We will find other enemies to fight. Oh, nice damage. There we go. That is what we like. Okay. Can we see a little bit more of that, please? I'm now starting to actually deal some pretty decent damage as well. Just primarily because we're getting a lot more polearm skill. And my riding skill has also increased quite dramatically. Um, so getting that, you know, getting that saddle, obviously making a, a bit of a difference as well. It's not making a huge difference, but obviously at the very beginning... We needed it, you know, we needed that uh, that extra cash to just sustain ourselves. Otherwise, we would have gone into debt very, very early. And that would have been, uh, well, it wouldn't have been bad because, you know, it's actually quite funny because going into debt in this game is not that bad as long as you rectify it within a reasonable time frame because otherwise, uh, otherwise things are going to go badly. But yeah, it's not too bad for, for the moment. And we are actually... Ah, we are Clan Tier 2 now. That's wonderful. Okay, that is perfect. That means that... You know you know what that means. That means I am literally just going to be going back to Dothraki territory and recruiting a whole bunch more troops. However, I'm not sure whether that's actually a good idea for me to do right now. Because if I do that right now, it's going to actually prevent me from... Well, you guessed it. Catching these enemies... They're going to be extremely difficult to chase after at that point. So I'm not sure how well that's going to work. But uh, we're going to just hopefully get Jorel, um, you know, some nice gear as well. I don't really want to fight the um, fight the hideout, as I've said. I, even though the hideout is generally a relatively decent thing to do. What is this? What are these guys? I've never heard of these guys. Okay, let's have a look at them. If I can actually type properly. There we go. Oh, 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 hello. Okay. They're actually quite, um, uh, I, I don't know. Do you think we can actually take them on? I think we might be able to. I mean, I've got some Dothraki barbarians here, which are technically tier five. They are tier five units. So I should, oh no, actually, you know what? They outnumber us. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Not right now, at least. I think we can we can definitely take them on a little bit later when I have slightly more troops because I really don't think that we can beat them as it is because they literally have um, basically uh, over double our army size, which is kind of terrible for us. Going to go for another point in leadership here. Going to be focusing on veterans' respect, obviously, if we can. And uh, otherwise, yes, recruit some more of those. We do have a quest here, but this quest isn't really going to lead us anywhere. We can sell that heavy recurve bow as well. Yeah, this quest is a special weapon order. I'm usually not a big fan of the weapon orders, even though maybe it would be a good idea. Should we try speaking to him and see what he actually wants from us? Let me see. You need to have some experience in smithing. Ah, okay. So you're basically telling me, go away. You don't have any. <laughs> you don't have any smithing skill. That's great. Oh well, never mind. Okay, that's gonna be it for this episode of Realm of Thrones. If you would like to take a look at the mod, there is a link in the description. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.